Welcome back to the channel. Right now, we are at an absolutely beautiful beach that I kind of grew up coming to and fishing, uh, which there is a decent amount of people actually fishing down there, which is kind of a bad thing, kind of a good thing. Love that, keep fishing. But um, we do indeed have a rod with us right now, which is ideal. I think this is, this is a nine foot surf casting rod. Wishing it was a 10 footer, but gotta do what you gotta do. One day we'll have a 10 foot casting rod. Anyways, today's whole video purpose, right? Is I bought the cheapest, absolutely cheapest tent that I could find on Amazon. Now, what do you consider a tent? There's a couple tents that were like 10 bucks and cheaper, but it wasn't an enclosed tent. You know, there's a big opening in it. So I went with the second option, which was the cheapest like enclosed, like actual like camping tent that I could find on Amazon. And that led me to a beautiful orange tent on Amazon. That was 18 bucks, 18 bucks. With inflation going on, um, 18 bucks is a steal, a steal. So yeah, I just walked through the woods about half a mile with everything on my back and it was pretty crazy. Look, I'm not kidding, watch this. <laughs> this is everything I just walked through the woods with, plus a whole nother backpack for camera gear. So whew, I'm gonna feel 70 years old by the time I'm 25. I did this little technique. I needed this sleeping pad as well as obviously the tent. So this was, this was the technique I went with and it actually stayed on pretty well. I'm sweating. It is so gosh dang hot out. And before the Floridians and the Texans come in the comments, start typing away with their keyboards. Yeah, it's only 71 degrees right now. All right, get the paracord out of the way. This is it. This is, this is the tent. Like this is all the tent came with. Look how microscopic this thing is. I'm like so scared. I've never used a microphone in my life before. Never used a microphone in my life before, so I'm a little scared. Sorry. Anyways, yes, this is literally the tent. This is it. This is what we're sleeping in. We're going to try surviving out here for an entire night in this thing. See how good it is. Is it a good bang for your buck? Um, I don't know. One way to find out, am I right? And that is to be on this island for a while. Come along with. I've sort of cleared out this area right here so that uh, we have a crispy area to sleep at and a beautiful view of the ocean to my left. It's pretty nice. Is now a good time to be honest with you guys? Or like, should I just act like I know what I'm doing? I'm gonna be honest. I've never set up a tent in my entire life. I'm a hammock kind of gal. So this is, this is unique, this is scary. This is a first time for me guys, seriously. <laughs> There, but of course we got some detailed instructions right here. That's all we have. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Here she is. This is what you get for 18 bucks. Is this, I, I can't remember if this is a one person or a two person tent. So forgive me, but I don't know how large this thing is gonna be. Is it waterproof? I don't know. We're gonna find out everything though. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Wait, I'm actually kind of nervous. All right. Um. Don't litter. I'm gonna go out to the middle right here and set you guys up. Give us more room to work with because this is kind of a small little spot I cleared out. I'm scared. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a fire tonight and I actually have an insanely good meal that I'm gonna cook up too. Just so exciting right now. I'm terrified. I've never slept in a tent. Actually, I have when I was younger. I truck camp and I camp all the time. But have you guys noticed how I've always avoided camping in an actual tent, this is why. I've never done it before. Like, what the heck? What is this supposed to do? Just guessing. Everyone in the comments down below, please rate my tent skills. How good are my tent setting up skills? Rate them one through 10. I'm gonna rate them 10. Might have spoke too soon on my tent setting up skills. I'm getting a little nervy. No. This is gonna be so difficult to do. 
This is insanely difficult. So that one's on, nice and sturdy. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. I'm gonna get roasted. I love it. I can see my future unfolding. There we go. No! This side came undone. Get back in there. Okay. That side's good. That side's still in. Now let's move on to this, which is just a, a mess. Oh, we have so much bait right in front of us getting chased. That's so cool. Definitely by baby fish, but still pretty neato. Wait, this is actually coming together. Hold on. I did it. It's microscopic, may I add. But this is really cool. Um, hold on. So this little thing right here does indeed have a purpose. I guess you just kind of clip it on. I, I don't know why they would put a vent right there, but whatever. This is definitely a huge moment. I don't think you guys understand. It's my first time ever setting up a tent. Now let's see if it fits in the spot that I cleared out. I cleared the spot out thinking it was the best job I've ever done. So let's find out. It's, it's, it's a decent sized area. I, I think it actually fits pretty well. Maybe? All right, well, maybe not. It's not really on the ground right there, but let me just clear a couple more things out. And I think, I think we're good. Now, of course, I want to see what it looks like in the inside because I haven't opened it just yet. But we still have some chores to do. Like if we want to eat dinner tonight, we need to collect firewood. That is extremely, extremely important. But I'm going to take a couple casts right in front of me because there's so much bait popping. So I'm going to take a couple casts and then we're going to go collect firewood so we can cook up some dinner. Also, today's crazy video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys want to go check them out, link down below. They're a monthly subscription-based company that sends a box full of baits to your doorsteps every single month, which is pretty insane. I'm going with this, this one, this one. If you want to support the channel, definitely check them out. Use code BECCA, and you can get your uh, first ever box for as low as $9.99. That's $10 of a box full of baits. Right here, I'm gonna use this jerk bait. As I'm rigging up, I have a bumblebee that landed on me. Do you guys see him? He is just chilling. Bud. Buddy. <laughs> All right, now we're rigged up, just in case anything crazy happens. Whether we catch something right now or not, at least we're rigged up, you know? But definitely on a serious note, go check out Mystery Tackle Box. They're such a cool company, and you can pick from saltwater, freshwater, multi-species, oop, tighten my drag, uh, trout box, literally whatever type of fishing you're into, I promise you they make a box for it. Walleye, catfish, I think the only one they don't make is carp, and I guarantee you they're already on it and gonna make one, so check them out. They're so cool. They're great people, um, and they're just an unbelievable company high quality baits, keep up to date with the fishing technology, all that fun stuff, all that fun stuff. All right, there's a bunch of bait in front of me, but nothing's really messing with it, which isn't a good sign. Um, something was messing with it a little bit earlier, but nothing's stressing out the bait fish. There's, there's nothing big nearby right now, but hey, we're rigged up for now. Now let's go get some firewood so we can actually eat dinner tonight. That is a huge must. I'm so stoked for dinner though. Let's get this party started. Code Becca, Mystery Tackle Box, by the way. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> I keep forgetting that part, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go get some firewood.
Okay, that was easily the most tiring thing I think I've done in a very, very long time. Processing all that wood was just hard. Hard work, hard work, hard work. But it's gonna be so worth it because we're gonna make a delicious meal on this fire and everything is gonna be okay. We got a miniature fire starter. I got for like a dollar at like, I think it was a dollar store if I'm being honest. So look at that fire. It's almost going out. Just feed it some youngins. We've got this. Look at this. It's about to be the fire of the century. Somehow it just makes you feel like the coolest person ever when you can start a fire. Now let's add one big log. Let's see how that goes. I'm getting eaten alive by bugs right now. Add some big boys. Gotta do this right. I worked hard on these pieces of wood, you know? <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at that. It's going. It, it, it's small. It's small right now. Just give us some time though. Just give us some time. I'll keep you all updated. Like, look at me right now. I look like a hot mess. Take the word hot out of it. I look like a mess. Um, that's what happens when you process your own wood by yourself. That was some intense stuff, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how, like, if you guys watch Xander Budwick, I think is his last name. He's one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. If you don't know who he is, if I remember, I'll leave him linked down below. Um, but Xander is like one of the best YouTubers, in my opinion. And watching how he processes firewood and does all this, it's, it's so inspiring. But just because I watch him doesn't mean I know what, he, what I'm doing, you know? Everything that I know is from watching Xander and Lost Lakes. Lost Lakes is really good. Whew. But Xander's the man. Go check him out. If you guys want to know who I watch on YouTube, it's Xander. Along with a thousand other people like Ryan Trahan. Unreal. Love him. Oh, God. But yeah. All right. I'll keep you guys updated on the fire. It's looking good. Just a quick update for right now, though. Come on now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get the dinner. I'm going to get dinner started. I'm going to get dinner started. Why not? I don't know what I'm doing anyways. Oh, my knees. First things first, let's get this in the fire. Kind of just like tucked away on its lonesome. Cast iron. Got to make it a little bit more... Um, Perfect. Butter in a bag that's extremely melted. almost fell backwards that's all right probably wondering what's in the tin foil let's open it up lots of butter oozing out oh yeah look at that look at that i got butter and some dairy-free parmesan cheese because i am allergic to dairy while the steak is cooling down just a wee bit Let's see how well I cooked these. Oh, wow. I cooked them good. Can't hate asparagus, that's for sure. I'm going to eat these first. Honestly, the last asparagus standing. So good. So good. I changed spots because the lighting was horrendous while I was eating that asparagus. I'm well aware. What if the steak's not cooked? It's cooked, let's grab it. Let's go. Have you ever made a steak on a beach? Yeah. I'm trying to get a good bite. It's so hard. 
Oh, that's actually good. This steak really can't be bad because of the amount of butter we added. And we just add classic steak seasoning. When you're out here camping, you don't have a lot of room to bring extra this, this, and that. So I, I just opted out for one seasoning. And I'm happy I did. It was actually cooked really well, but I wish it was a little bit more rare. It's a little pink, but not pink enough. I don't like my steak well done and whatnot, but I've also never cooked in, on a fire before, so a lot of first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is my first bite that's really chewy. It's also a $10 ribeye steak. Not like the most high quality meat. Even 10 bucks was a lot. I was like, dang, do I really want to spend 10, 10 bucks on a steak? But I mean, how can you not? When you're out camping, you have an open fire. The first thing my head and my brain goes towards for cooking is going to be steak. So I had to buy it. Mm. Dinner is a 10 out of 10, folks. I love how it's still so bright out and it's 7.30. 7.30. We are full on manhandling this steak. Man handling. And just like that, we are left with a buttery pan. I threw one really fatty piece into the water because it was very fatty and I didn't want to eat it. Even though the fatty pieces are the best, sometimes it's not always the best to eat them though, you know? Yep, I do have food on my face. What the heck is that? Who's gonna tell me that I got that on my face? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. I can't see myself on this camera, so I have to uh, look at my phone. Alright folks, <laughs> dinner honestly is, was a success. I love asparagus, I love steak. It's honestly one of the best combinations you could possibly ever have. We have the fire dying out right now. We don't necessarily need the fire anymore, so I'm probably just going to let it die out um, and then put some water on it. We don't want no forest fires out here on this island. But with that being said, dude, dinner was a success. The last thing we need is for the sun to go down a little bit more and for us to go inside the tent. It looks small. I don't know if it looks that big to you guys on camera, but it's really not looking that big and it's making me nervous. Pros to it being small, it was pretty easy to set up. Or maybe that's not a pro. I don't really... I don't really know. I don't do tents, but here we are. And not to mention the fact that I am 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five on a good day. Sorry, guys. I, yeah. I, I think I'm honestly 5'3". I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't, I haven't been to the doctors, but last time I checked, I'm pretty sure it was 5'4". Five, 5'5", five, five on a good day? I don't know. So, it doesn't really matter how big the tent is. No, not really, because I'm sure I'm going to fit... But am I going to fit comfortably? I don't know. Um, for my first ever time, well, not first ever time, but kind of first ever time. I think I did it twice when I was a kid. I have no memory of it really, though. So at the end of the day, this is my first time. So anyways, with that being said, um, yeah, here we are. This is going to be quite interesting. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. Will I fit? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. It... Is it bad that, like, I almost feel more comfortable camping in a hammock? A hammock and my truck are, like, my top two favorite places to sleep. I never tent camped, though. You know, at least we're nervous with full bellies, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's sit back, relax, maybe throw a couple casts, see if we can hook into a fish or two, and just enjoy the sun going down, because it is going down. About time. It is 7.30. I think the sun goes down at literally 8.30 now. It's crazy. Anyways, let's relax. Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's episode. I'm stoked on how this has gone so far. Heck yeah.
I'm processing more wood and keeping the fire going. Cause look at that, the fire started getting so big. I can't just let it die down now. And the sun's going down and it just looks so good. So we're gonna process some more wood and be exhausted, but it'll be worth it. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful, beautiful fire. I worked very hard on that fire, so I'm pretty impressed. But with the sun being, you know, going down, now is a perfect opportunity to finally go inside the tent for the first time. Yeah, I don't know how, but I haven't gone in the tent yet. I'm kind of nervous. But here we go, we're gonna be sleeping in this thing. Yay, oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, that's not terrible size in there. Right? Hold on. Let's put the sleeping pad in there. Are these bugs already? Yeah, sand fleas somehow got in here. Anyways. Okay, sleeping pad. Is it the length of the sleeping pad? Because that is what matters. That's pretty much the length, I'd say so, honestly. Next thing's next is go inside of here. We got our lantern. Pachow, the one that I always truck camp with. You guys know the deal. Camping pillow. Here we go. I mind if we pass through? Oh yeah, no, go for it. Oh, thank you. Great, good for nice you. Little, little tent. fishing, nice tent and everything. Thank you, I appreciate it. My little Walmart pillow that I got for like 12 bucks, I think. It's called Ozark Trail Camp Pillow. And you know what they say. Uh, well, I say this all the time. Anything with the word camping in front of it is so expensive. This thing was like 12 bucks. You can get a massive pillow for, I don't know, five bucks at Walmart. Come on. There you go. Put that bad boy in there. You know, I don't, I don't mess around. Look at this. Yep. Do you know what this is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's exactly what you think. Why can't I think of the name of it? That's why I'm stalling. What the heck? A sleeping bag. It's a, it's a sleeping bag. This is a sleeping bag that we sleep in. Jeez. All right, let's get in here. Shoes off, because we're respectful. Going into the house. Take the shoes off. Bring our lantern in. Let's just test her out. Okay. Let's, let's get the full effect going. There we go. This is the bug net. I'm gonna have to say that's, this is a necessity. Okay, all right, well, yep. It is the cheapest one on Amazon. That's a hole. The reviews were actually really good. And I don't know why they were good. There's so many holes. I'm not sure how good it's gonna pick up, but these are all holes in the stitching. Like there, it, there's just so many holes. And then this mesh is like the holes are insane. Like bugs are gonna get in that. Like, look at that corner. This is, this is bonkers. <sighs> we signed up for this. We signed up for this lifestyle. At least we have a killer view, right? That's that's what I'm going to say. Let's set up the camp pillow and the sleeping bag. But it's honestly so hot, I'm probably not going to set up the sleeping bag. It's like the low tonight, 63. That is so hot. No thanks. And... We're raw dog in it right now, so we're not bringing a fan. This is crazy. Also, those people just complimented me and told me I had a really cool setup. Did you guys hear that? That made me so happy. But little do they know. <laughs> this tent sucks. Okay, let's, let's get this camping pillow out. Here we go. Um... I haven't even opened this yet. Wow, look at that. Look at the size of this pillow for 12 bucks. What a steal, Ozark Trail. 
I haven't even slept on this thing and I'm gonna sit here and say, guys, I don't recommend it. If you see this camping pillow, don't get it. Sleeping bag's right there just in case, but I highly doubt we're gonna use it. Ah, oh, just a lovely hole. Well, I don't know how I feel. There's just so many holes. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of terrifying. But I love it. I'm getting an adrenaline rush. But what do we do about that hole? Because I refuse to sleep with that hole. There's just no way. There's just no way. You know what? If I'm not going to sleep with my sleeping bag, due to the fact that it's going to be hot out tonight, I have an idea. Watch this. Okay. Not bad. There's a hook right here. Okay, that's nifty. This is uh, pretty nice. I, I, I gotta say, I like that. I like that. But it doesn't make me feel any better that there's a hole, multiple millions of baby holes in this entire tent. I gotta say. It doesn't make me feel much better. Alright, let's check out the view though. What do we got for a sunset? I think we missed the sunset. Yep. Come on. This is sick. This is sick. My experience so far, 7 out of 10. If there's no holes in it, 10 out of 10. I'm sweating profusely. So, that's an L. We'll live, though. I have a sweatshirt on now, and that is due to the fact that I'm scared that I'm going to get eaten alive while I'm asleep and bitten so for safety I put the sweatshirt on and I'm already sweating so that's fun anyways I have to say I don't know why I was so scared to tent camp because it reminds me so much of ice fishing like this is the same like this is the same pad that I sleep on for ice fishing this is the same light that I use for ice fishing for like camping you know I don't know why I don't know but this tent is terrible there is bugs in here. A lot of bugs, actually. They're so small, it is ridiculous, but they're just everywhere. Little baby gnats. Just all over the tent. And that's probably due to the fact that there's a million holes in here. Just saying, just stating the obvious at this point. So, pretty stoked to sleep in here tonight. That's why I put the sweatshirt on. I'm glad I brought the sweatshirt in my camera bag because... I'd be so sad right now. I'd probably have to sleep under the sleeping bag, which isn't a terrible alternative. But anyways, so yeah, um, the waves are going off. I'm getting sleepy. It is time to sleep in a tent for the first time. Yay. This is easily one of the worst things I could have done, but here we are. I'll let you know if I recommend this tent by the morning. Most likely not. <laughs> Good morning. All right, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's sick. I don't know how well you guys can hear, but the birds are going off like bonkers right now. So, it woke me up. Last time I talked to you guys, it was about like 9. No, like 9.30. And I was like, yep, I'm going to bed. I tossed and turned for hours. Maybe went to bed around 12. Now it's 4.30 a.m. Sleep-wise, probably not the best. But that's also just because I was super paranoid of the fact that there's holes everywhere. Like, isn't that the whole point of a tent is to keep you away 
from the outdoor, like, ecosystem, you yeah. know? I don't know what I'm saying. I just, I'm sorry, I just woke up. <laughs> that probably didn't make any sense. Well, the birds are up, so I guess I'm up. And with the sunrise like that, is it bad if we don't take advantage and go fishing? I feel like we almost have to go fishing right now. Maybe some top water? Ah! Oh, that's not fun. Let's do it! <laughs> this is so sick! Our tent right there. And then bam. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? A fish just jumped right there. <laughs> Alright. I'm searching you guys to the GoPro. My hair is in ponytail when you know. And when I put my hair in ponytail, that's when you know it's getting serious. So, switching guys to the GoPro. Let's see if we can catch one. I've been laying down for well over an hour now. Just laying down inside the tent, enjoying myself, really. Um, but I think it's time we slowly pack up because <laughs> it's been a long, long adventure. And I'm pretty sure it's like, what time is it? It's almost six, six o'clock now. Pretty crazy. There's still so many bugs in here. Also, don't know why I have this on when it's daytime. <gasps> Ooh, we have a little duck. Like everyone in mankind that camps owns a sleeping pad or has owned it or at least used it once. So far, taking it down, light work. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a crazy one, lots of work, lots of adventure, a lot of bug bites. I have been eaten alive in this episode, but it was an experience of a lifetime and I'm glad I camped in a tent for the first time ever alone. Solo camping is just spiritual. <laughs> it's very fun. I'm gonna head to another spot tonight because we are camping again tonight with two special guests so the next episode should be a lot of fun let me know if you guys enjoyed this mic setup this episode if you guys didn't like it i won't do it anymore but uh figured i'd give it a whirl try something new someone commented on my recent video a couple of times saying my audio was trash and i got really sad and bought a mic with the money you guys donated to the channel so thank you. I appreciate it. I love all of you guys so much. Thank you so much to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. Go check them out. I'm sorry we didn't catch fish in today's video, but it was nice to sit back and relax, honestly. And um, plenty of more fish to come in the future, of course. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Plenty of more camping to come as well. So I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one. <laughs>